Hi friends, I hope you've all enjoyed the holiday season. I wanna start with a warm welcome to subscribers and to new viewers as well. Thank you so much for your support of the channel and Parkinson's awareness. I've been going through a lot of changes lately. Um, obviously I've cut my hair. I was able to donate 24 inches of hair to a Michigan based organization called Children with Hair Loss. Um, I had planned on donating for some time now. Um, the last time I cut my hair was February of 2020, so it's been a good while. If you're considering cutting your hair or you're preparing for deep brain stimulation or anything requiring a change in your hair, uh, you may consider donating to an organization like Children with Hair Loss or one like Matter of Trust, which uses hair to help with the cleanup of oil spills. And I'll include their links in the community page if you're interested in checking them out to learn more. I've also had some challenges with my medications. Um, part of my regimen includes an agonist drug, uh, Repenerol Extended Release. Um, my neurologist started me on that with Resagiline after my diagnosis rather than Carbidopa Levodopa because I was young, um, early in my diagnosis, and symptoms at the time weren't really bothersome. Um, but I was told that once the agonist wasn't as effective that Carbidopa Levodopa would be the next step. So the disease is progressing as it does, and at my uh, appointment this past summer with my movement disorder specialist, he increased the milligrams of the agonist, and I soon after started feeling very scatterbrained. I could not focus on anything. I started not feeling well overall, and I asked to be taken off the medication. Because I needed to be weaned off the medication, uh, my doctor dialed back the milligrams. Um, I'm still on it, but at a very low dose. Um, I feel a lot better. Um, in exchange though, they put me on the Carbidopa Levodopa, so I take Cinemet now three times a day. I'm sure many of you are already familiar with it. So if you're experiencing any issues with medications or you want to know more about what might be available to you, I encourage you to speak with your doctor. Um, medications can affect different people in different ways. Uh, what works for one may not work so well for another. Um, side effects may differ and so on, so speak to your doctor if you have questions. My next challenge was adjusting to the frequency of the Carbidopa Levodopa doses, which leads me to the next part of my story. So I'm also in the process of moving. Um, I'm excited, I'm really excited, but it's not been without its own challenges, as you'd imagine. Um, this move came about because I wanted my husband to be near his family um, as my disease progresses. Uh, he internalizes a lot, so I wanted him to have a support system, sort of a care partner for the care partner. He's very close with his family and it's going to be a positive thing for all of us, I think. Um, we've talked for years about relocating to his home state and everything's just fallen into place. I feel like it's really meant to be now. His family is super happy to have him coming back home. Um, we found a nice one level house, so no stairs to contend with. We have some great friends in the area. Medical facilities have rated well. Um, plus, our kids have opted to relocate uh, to be near us and to help out as needed, so I feel very, very fortunate. But it has been a lot of traveling back and forth between different states, uh, preparing one house to move into, one house to sell. And being honest, I went through periods of not taking my medications like I should. I'm the kind of person that when I start something, I want to finish it, and I don't want to stop in the middle of something when my alarm goes off to take medications several times a day like I have to now with the Cinemet pills. Um, that was an adjustment that was not easy for me. So I would find at the end of the day that I had missed doses and after a while it caught up with me. I started feeling like I was moving funny. I felt like a, like a marionette, like a puppet. Um, it was a very odd feeling. Um, stiffness was really, really bad, especially in the mornings. Um, I wasn't eating right. I wasn't sleeping well. I wasn't exercising as much as I had been. Um, so it really had an impact on me um, and I started understanding quickly why we're told the importance of taking our medications on time every time. It was also a realization of the limits this disease imposes and I have to adapt to that. So one of the things that I've done is I, I have one of those Sunday through Saturday pill containers but um, I've gone a step further and I put my daily medications in a little container that I keep in my pocket all the time now. So there is no excuse for me not taking my medicine. Another positive change I've made is that I have opted not to put a TV in my new bedroom. I thought I would have withdrawals because I love to lay in bed and watch TV at night, but 
Uh, at one of my last appointments, uh, my doctor did suggest not having a TV in the bedroom because my insomnia was so bad and I thought, it ain't happening. I just like my TV at night. But I have found not having a TV in the bedroom, um, I pick up a book and I read more now. I love reading and going to bed uh, at a particular time and laying there reading for 30 minutes to an hour uh, before I'm ready to go to sleep actually helps me relax um, and it has improved my sleep recently. So I am trying to get back on track with things, um, taking my medications like I should, um, eating better, getting back into exercise. Um, things are still a bit chaotic because we're not totally done with the move. Um, I see the light at the end of the tunnel, but um, but we are wrapping things up and I'm definitely looking forward to being settled and having some calmer days ahead. But as always, I just wanted to share my experiences in case anyone out there is going through something similar and I hope it helps knowing that you're not alone in what you're going through. I'm sure you've all had changes and challenges that you've been dealing with and I truly hope that you're finding ways to manage and make yourselves the priority. I know especially as a woman, um, we want everybody to be happy, we want everything to be good and we tend to let ourselves fall to the wayside. So um, take care of yourselves. Uh, stress isn't good for any of us, especially those of us with Parkinson's. I'm really excited for 2024 and I hope to bring you new videos that you find helpful on your journey. Uh, I wish each of you good health and happiness this new year. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, stay positive, friends. Keep moving, and I'll see you soon.